Valentine's Day video because it is so close to Valentine's Day. Today I have two DIYs and they are jar DIYs. Basically little like glass jars like these size. But you can do like big jars if you want. And so there's a confetti one with all the different like pink sh shades of pink and a red. And then there's like beads and stuff. I just think it's really cute decor. And then there's this actual gift kind which is basically a like hanging um, note with red ribbon tied around it and you put a little message in. But as I've got no one to give this to, I'm literally just going to keep it as a call because it's so cute. But you can do it to a family member, just put love you, um, I don't know, or a friend or something. Valentine's Day can be for anyone you love, it doesn't have to be like, partner. Last year, my Valentine's Day video, one of them was these cookies, they are like um, clay cookies, like heart shaped cookies on white sticks with pink icing and sprinkles. I still think these are so cute. I gave one of them away to like a friend I think because they're great gifts. So if you want to check out that video as well as little gifts for Valentine's Day then go check that out. I have it linked in the description and an annotation right here and at the end of the video. Without further ado let's just get on with the video. What you need are obviously mini little glass jars and you can use big ones to make a big size but these are like miniature ones and I have all these different shapes and sizes that there's like loads to choose from but I'd go for quite a wide one. You will also need red ribbon, pink ribbon would also work or like anyone like if you're giving this to someone their favourite colour ribbon but just a ribbon but I'd go for pink or red because it's Valentine's Day themed. You will need, also need wire, I'm not going to use the kind where you need like appliers to bend it, I'm using a really simple bend one that I can use my hands for, it's not tough at all, but if you want the like struggles of using um, appliers to bend it, that's up to you. You will need scissors, a ruler, a pen and some paper. You can also use a hot glue gun if you want to make everything stick a little bit stronger. So I'm picking out my thickest jar and it's quite short but I need a wide one because LC paper is never going to fit in. You'll want to cut out your paper size. It's going to be 2cm in width and 6cm in length. Because it needs to be quite wide in order to look like it's a proper scroll when you um, roll up. But also you need it long enough for you to write a message on. I'm literally writing two words, be mine on it. And then I wanted to make, take up some more room so I put two hearts either end and then a line and put an X for a kiss. You can put it who it's from, you can put a quote on it. Just do go out all out and do whatever you want you want to roll that up and then tie it with a red ribbon around the middle or whatever color ribbon you're going for um i did this off camera because um nobody's ever going to be reading my note i did use some double-sided sticky tape to keep the ribbon in place because it kept sliding off but if you're actually giving this to someone and they're going to be sliding out the note to read it then just leave it out how it is take your wire and slip it in the knot and then double knot it again just so it won't come out and bend it around so it's not going to slide out at any point now cut it to size um you want to be quite short actually then i'm taking the cork and i tried pushing it in but it wasn't strong enough to make a hole so i just took off camera a bobby pin made a hole and then inserted the wire in and then i just popped um the whole thing into the jar and then put the lid on and i think this is really cute you can secure the wire so it doesn't fall out of the cork with a hot glue gun but mine's not falling out anytime soon so it's fine and I think this is a really cute um, little like decor piece, gift, or just like a little cabochon thing. So for the next jar, what you will need is obviously paper. I'm taking red, light pink, and a normal like hot pink. Obviously a jar, and I'm taking a taller kind of jar. It has a small in um, rim, but that's okay because I will be able to get all the confetti in. I'm also taking a bag of little mini pink beads. This is optional. You don't have to do this. I just thought this is a nice attach. I'm literally going to be ripping them into the tiniest pieces I can and then stuffing them into the jar and because my jar's hole is quite actually small I'm taking a bobby pin and it, I'm just going to be pushing it all down and really squeeze it down so that it flattens in um, because you want to fill as much as you can I'm not going all the way to the top but a few times in between layers I'm putting some pink beads in that's totally up to you if you want to put beads in but I just thought this adds a nice little cute touch and then put on the lid and it it's lovely and you can hot glue the seal so that it doesn't come off if you don't want but if you're actually laying putting all these confetti and stuff on a table or something on Valentine's Day then you can leave the lid how it is <laughs> enjoyed this video i find these 
two jars are just so adorable like I actually found this one I'm not going to take full credit because I found this one on Pinterest but I only found the picture of it I didn't find out how to do it if I can find the pin I will link it in the description to give that person some credit but I, I don't know I found it quite a while ago and I've had it in my head ever since so I don't know if I can find it if I can then it will be linked but if not hey you have the tutorial for it now and also this one is just made up but I thought this is really cute and this is all cute confetti so if you wanted you could just like spray this like on a table if you're having like dinner you can just be like look at my little DIY confetti open it and sprinkle it on the table and it'd be really cute I don't know or just decor like me if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up that would help me out so much if you're new to my channel or haven't yet subscribed then please subscribe I post craft tutorials near enough every Sunday it is hard to do every single Sunday because I need the ideas um, but I also do during the day videos like random like challenges and like fun things so I have a few ideas that are coming out for spring and stuff like I have an Easter one and I'm really excited about that I think I'm gonna start filming that ready for it but yeah um, just please hit subscribe and we could be best friends <laughs> Comment down below what you're doing on Valentine's Day as well. If you're just like me, hanging with the friends rather than a partner. As I live in the single life, but you know what? We we don't need people. We just need our people we love. So yeah. I hope to see you guys in my next video. And I love you guys so much. Hope you guys are having a craft day just like me. Bye. Um, that would help me out so much. It's great.